，插上设备，不到十分钟，电动车就可以上路。这样快速方便的充电方式，预计很快就会成为日常。EVs will go 50% farther and charge in five or ten minutes. Will enable the electrification of aviation. Silicon batteries will enable the electrification of heavy transportation. 所谓的系阳极锂电池，也就是用系来取代在锂电池当中使用的石墨。电池能量密度就能提升百分之二十到百分之四十。Why silicon? Because it has ten times the capacity for lithium compared to graphite. 光是去年最后一季，系阳极锂电池的新创产业总共就募资金额高达五亿美元。全球的系阳极锂电池市场预计也将会从二零二一年的十二亿美元暴增到二零三一年的两千零八十六亿美元。尽管需求量大，但系却有一个严重的缺点。It has something to do with is a crystal structure, and once lithium coming in during first charging cycle, it become Amorphous. That means lithium can come in three-dimensionally so fast compared to graphite. And that swelling after a few charge and discharge cycles causes it to crack. So the key is to figure out how to keep it from cracking. 增加系在锂电池当中的稳定性就成为新创业者的努力目标。We use a carbon scaffold as the basis for our material, and then we incorporate nano silicon into that scaffold. To make a material that's about half silicon and about half carbon, the carbon providing the infrastructure, if you will, and the silicon really providing the performance advantages. 结合碳的结构，增加稳定性，这间新创公司就获得微软还有保时捷的青睐。目前已经募集超过六亿的资金。耐焊电池大厂 SK 也抢着合作。一群离开特斯拉的电池工程师，则是研发出利用纳米复合系来打造锂电池。宾士的招牌越野车就准备推出纯电动版，就将采用这款系阳极锂电池。而史丹佛大学的专家则是研发出更大胆的产品。We've brought to market a critical solution that is perhaps the holy grail of solutions with 100% silicon. This is our centrotherm tool. It's used to grow the actual、uh, anode material. So. The nanowires will nucleate in certain spots on the metal foil, and then they'll grow upward. The reason those nanowires are so important is they create much more surface area than a, than a typical battery. 但这个新创团队不像其他西洋及锂电池业者积极跟汽车大厂合作，而是望向蓝天协助发展电动飞机。It allows us to showcase our performance. They're also less price sensitive. Uh, since they're high-performance applications, and we're able to therefore get into the market very quickly with an advanced application. 而且业者强调，比起使用石墨，西洋及锂电池还会更加环保。Silicon is the second most abundant、uh, material on the planet, so there's no、uh, sort of scarcity issue. There's also environmental benefits to switching from graphite, which is mined out of the earth and then refined. We're able to actually derive and synthesize our material in much cleaner ways. 听起来，西洋级锂电池不但实用，而且坚固环保，有望成为市场宠儿。但目前最需要克服的是增加产量、降低成本，才能具备市场竞争力。The battery pack is the dominant cost of an electric vehicle today. The key is to get it to below $100 per kilowatt hour, and already there's movement. That is showing that it's doable, and some are doing it. 业者认为，随着电动车普及，新型锂电池市场达到上兆美元将不会是梦想。尤其各国新创业者投入研发，预计很快就会有商业化的西洋级锂电池问世，解决目前电动车最大的难题。TVBS 新闻综合报道。